The GB Full Bore Full Flow Ball Valve offers industry-leading performance, material selection, and end connections while providing you with a lower overall cost of ownership by reducing inventory levels as well as installation and maintenance costs. One way the GB valve minimizes your inventory is with several locally configurable options. The GB valve body features a bolt pattern which can be used to add a lockout handle, panel mount kit, or an ISO 5211 pneumatic actuator. Let's look at how easy it is to add these options. You will need a 9 16 inch wrench to disassemble the handle from the valve body. Start by ensuring that the valve is in the open position. Next, remove the following items. The upper stem nut, the non-locking stop plate, the handle, and the grounding spring. Discard the non-locking stop plate and set all other components aside for later use. To panel mount the valve using a kit, cut mounting holes in the panel per the dimensions in the instruction card. The panel can be no thicker than 0.105 inch or 2.67 millimeters or 12 gauge. Now, position the valve stem through the large hole in the panel while aligning the panel and the valve's mounting holes. Next, place the stop bracket on top of the panel and attach the panel and valve body using the four cap screws, torquing the screws to 75 inch pounds. Next, assemble the grounding spring, lever handle, and stop plate by tightening the stem nut to 75 inch pounds. Make sure the handle and stop plate are properly oriented and the stem nut goes on straight. Once again, after the assembly is complete, actuate the valve closed and open to check for smooth actuation. Contact your authorized Swagelock Sales and Service Center today to learn more about how the GB Series Ball Valve can reduce installation, maintenance, and inventory costs while meeting your advanced pressure and flow specifications.